Hey guys, Sophia here with TurquoiseToffee.wordpress.com and I'm back with another video. Today we're talking about the 2022 IFBB Pro League New York Pro, all the women's results. It was a gigantic show, so many top names, so exciting. I got a lot to talk about, so let's just get right to it. So as a reminder, there were actually two other shows this weekend, the Optimum Classic and the California Night of Champions. So I'll be back with recaps of those two as well. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the notifications. Okay, so in terms of Olympia, this New York Pro is considered a Tier 2 contest. Super heavy, lots of points, really big show. So second through fifth receive the points you see there. The winner qualifies for Olympia, and at the end of the qualification period, the top three in the points also qualify for Olympia. So we're going to focus on those top five point earning fabulous females. Okay, so starting with Pro Bikini, and this one was insane. So in first place was Laura Lee. Second, Isa, third, Janet, fourth, India, and fifth, Aaron. And take a look at the numbers, you guys. Laura Lee had four points, Isa had six. That's close, okay? So, first and second were close. And then Janet had nine, and India had 11. So, that's kind of close, too. So, crazy. These women were all amazing. Okay, so starting with Aaron in fifth place. Uh, I am so loving seeing Erin doing so well. She is such a figure in pro women's bodybuilding. I, I just adore her, and I think she looks amazing. Um, her physique looks incredible. Her hourglass is just gorgeous. She's so broad up top. Her shoulders are insane. The delts have such a beautiful round shape, but like she's just so big up top and then her waist is tiny and she's got great balance with her lower body. I think her hourglass is just phenomenal. Uh, I am more partial to the purple from the Atlantic coast. I think that suit color and the makeup and the tones kind of were a better complement to her skin and her darker hair. However, I don't hate this more raspberry red. It's still very pretty. I just prefer the purple myself. Um, but overall, I think she looks absolutely phenomenal. I would almost say that her conditioning is just a hair, just a tiny, a fraction less than it was at the Atlantic Coast. And the only reason I say that is you're seeing a tiny bit less detail in this back leg maybe a little bit less of the lines going across her abs than you saw here but like I'm talking a tiny tiny bit um, maybe a little bit less of the detail in her delts maybe maybe not either way I think she looked absolutely phenomenal and I'm so excited that she's top five she looks beautiful okay next in fourth place is India who <laughs> looks Amazing. Another top five finish for her. Her comeback is on and she is just insane. She's doing so well. And the biggest change for me that I'm noticing is the posing. It's getting better every single show, particularly the upper body. I am noticing so much more of her lat and it's opening up her chest. Her shoulders look incredible. Her ribs are more up. And it's just creating such an hourglass shape. I think she was a lot more closed off than she was at the Wasatch, for example. Pittsburgh, it was coming, but now it's like here. We're seeing so much of her beautiful clavicle. Her traps look amazing. Like just this curve is sensational. Um, I also think the way she's posing, her glutes look amazing as well. There's almost more curve on the top than you saw at Wasatch. So she's, maybe she's just putting a little more weight into her hip. I don't know. I don't know what she's doing. Her glutes look amazing. Her waist is so small. Just, I think she looks incredible. She's got beautiful amount of volume in her hair and her makeup is perfection. So yeah, I'd say this is a fabulous showing from her. Her conditioning is beautiful. I love this line and the detail she gets showing off her hamstring. Like she looks insane. Okay, next in third place is Janet. And what a difference when we go back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go backwards for one second. So look at India's upper body. And now Janet. A huge difference in the physiology, the shape of these women. And yet Janet is incredibly beautiful. She's not as big. She's not as broad. She's not as muscular as India. But she still looks 
unbelievable. And I think her conditioning is just gorgeous. I particularly love all the detail in her leg, down by her knee. Her hamstrings look crazy. And nobody has this shape in their glutes like Janet. She's got this groove and then this extra bit of muscle up here oh it looks so good she is very beautifully built particularly on the bottom um her abs look lovely i really like how small her waist is she's posing beautifully it's very a soft and gentle kind of movement with this arm it's not overly outward it's not too far away from her body she just looks gorgeous she's created a really nice shape um, so I think she looks really beautiful. She looks super tall. She looks long. Her, her limbs look lean and just gorgeous. And wow, what a beautiful shape she's got in her delts as well. I think this roundness up at the top of the delt looks even nicer than it did at the Pittsburgh Pro. So my oh my, she's looking beautiful. Of course, do I even have to comment on how gorgeous her makeup and her hair is? I don't think so because it always is. She's just beautiful. Okay, Issa in second place. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? I can't believe she doesn't have a first place yet this qualification period because to me she looks like perfection. She is so gorgeous. Her hourglass is... It's something else. It's on another level. You cannot help but notice how wide she is on top, how insane and beautifully shaped her lats are, the taper to her tiny, it's like paper thin her waist, and then her glutes are insane. A gorgeous shape, beautiful conditioning too, like you're getting beautiful lines, lots of detail. You've got abs going across, coming up and down. Her obliques are nicely outlined. You have just a little bit of ribs, so she doesn't look too overly lean. Like, I think she is so good. Um, it's the hourglass for me that really takes her physique to another level. She's so curvy. It's such an exaggerated shape, and it's just insane she's posing beautifully I noticed um her foot is a little bit more pointing forward than it was for example at the Boston or the Arnold at these shows it's a little bit more of a sideways and here it's a little bit more forward so it's going to change a little bit how we see the glute it's going to change how we see the quad it's gorgeous she looks insane she looks so good all right and now in first place Laura Lee Again, she is just getting first place over and over and over. And wow, of course, she looks amazing. Her conditioning is fantastic. You've got lots of detail in her leg. I think this is maybe maybe comparable to the Sacramento in terms of how much you're seeing in those quads, right? Beautiful shape in this leg. And her glute has a gorgeous shape. It's such a nice connection with her hamstring and then a beautiful curve with her calf tiny waist she is not nearly as exaggerated in the hourglass shape as Issa but she still has a really gorgeous silhouette you notice the roundness in her shoulders that curve to the back really small when you get to here and then it just comes out really nice so She's got a beautiful shape. She's got great conditioning. I like how much ab you see. I like how detailed her oblique is. And then she's just beautiful. She's got great hair. It's thick. It's really full in the back, which I like. And her posing is extremely flattering, really showing off her glute and the quads. So, like, man, she looks so good. Okay, so everybody's side by side. I'm telling you, I'm drawn to Issa in second. That hourglass is just crazy. The, the, the amount of curve she gets below and above her waist, which is just insanely small, it's like nobody else. Um, in terms of hourglass, I'm next drawn to Erin, believe it or not. And I think it's because she has so much size and width up top. However, something I'm noticing about Erin in this lineup, her legs look a lot larger, much more muscular than the other women. And I think what is helping to make them look bigger is the fact that her toe is so pointed sideways. The other girls you can see are a lot more towards the front of the room. And so I think Erin could use that optical illusion of just changing the position of her foot. And I think her leg would look even more trim and petite. 
Um, however, man, her hourglass, I think, looks insane. Uh, I'm also looking at Janet. I think her conditioning is really good. And there's that dip in her glute that I love so much. Looks so good. Um, just gorgeous. I think Laura Lee has a really nice balance between her top and her bottom. And her glute really does go forever, right? She's got really nice development here. But fr from the front, I know I am really quite drawn to Issa. But I'd love to hear what you guys think. Now, in terms of the back... Aha! I think Laura Lee really looks beautiful from behind. She's got a great shape. She's got nice size. And she has the beautiful glute ham tie-ins. I feel like Issa is missing the, the tie-ins just a little bit. She's got a lot of roundness, um, but they're not as defined at the bottom. I think Janet has a really beautiful size to her um, glutes and she has a really nice small waist beautiful hourglass but Laura Lee has the size and her glute tines look really good as well as just a little bit of definition in her hamstrings and a nice curve in the inside and the outside of her legs so I think Laura Lee really pulls it together from behind um, India and Aaron also look gorgeous of course I really like Aaron's definition in her hamstring um, this was <laughs> What a, what a bikini top five. New York pro. Holy smokes. So in terms of Olympia, Laura Lee was already qualified. Issa was already qualified. Janet was already qualified. India is way at the top. She gets six more points. And Erin gets five more. So exciting. Okay. Pro wellness. In first place, Sunny. Second, Cassandra. Third, Jasmine. Fourth, Judean. And fifth, Raphael. So here's Raphael in fifth, who you may recognize from the Muscle Contest Brazil, and she looks gorgeous. And first of all, very obviously, she has changed her whole presentation. Red suit is more in line with what the other competitors are wearing in that solid color. Her makeup is a little bit more subdued with the eyeshadow, although I'm loving the red bold lip matches the suit. It looks gorgeous with the dark hair. Oh, love it. Um, the other thing she's changed is the shoes, which I am not crazy about. I've said it before about other competitors. I don't like an ankle strap. I don't think it belongs on the stage. I think the the big sparkly clear heels that she had at the other show were better, in my opinion. It just flatters the shape of the leg more. However, I'm loving all the other changes she's made, and I think she looks really good. She's got a crazy amount of size. Her quads look fabulous. Great definition, particularly here by her knees. She's got a nice amount of size in her arms as well, so the balance is still there between top and bottom. And I think she's got a really good amount of abs showing too. So I think her conditioning looks great. The amount of muscle she has looks beautiful. And overall, she'd made some fabulous changes. Okay, next is Judean in fourth place in a beautiful turquoise suit. I love it. Um, wow, crazy beautiful lower body in particular. She's got a gorgeous quad with really nice definition. I love the line. I love the detail in her beautifully curved hamstring. Um, a crazy big, very nicely curved glute. Like, look at all that shape on the top. Really gorgeous. Um, a nice amount of oblique, although I do wish there was a bit more ab showing. Her stomach is nice and flat, but just a bit more definition um, I would like personally. Um, I think her lats look good. Her shoulders look lovely. Uh, a nice amount of muscle in her arms, so they're balanced with the shoulders. So overall, I think she looks really nice. Um, I do notice, and I think you'll see it even more in the lineup, she's a bit leaning in the way that she's standing. I think if she could just kind of pull her chest and her shoulders a little bit more upright it would be even better and maybe even a little less weight I think she could be even more on the toe of this foot myself but man I think she looked amazing okay Jasmine in third place oh I am loving Jasmine I was so impressed with her at the Pittsburgh show and I'm equally impressed here she's straightened out her leg a little bit and I think it looks so good it really makes you notice her hourglass shape um, she looks tall. She looks so buff. Like she looks extremely muscular, really athletic. Oh, I, I think she looks fantastic. Her obliques look crazy. Her abs are well defined. She's got so much definition in her legs. The, the front leg is beautifully defined. The back leg as well. A crazy curve here. 
Um, I think her glutes, I love the outline that she has all the way around it. She's got a very small pinching in of the waist. So it's like crazy amount of muscle up top, lats, tiny waist, boom, back to the uh, legs and glutes. So she's got a crazy physique, so much muscle packed onto it. Awesome. I love the amount of size in her arms. Like, what more can I say? She, I'm, I'm impressed. I think she looks awesome from top to bottom. Okay, Cassandra in second place. Amazing. Another top finish for her. I love her conditioning at this show. I love how much you see the line outlining her quad. It goes all the way up to the strap of her suit. Her calves look amazing on both legs. Her abs look really good, nice and flat. Um, a little bit of the, the, well, her oblique is super prominent. I, I wouldn't mind a little bit more like lines in the abs, but I don't mind it. I think, I think she looks really beautiful, a nice shape. Um, a beautiful amount of muscle in her arms. She's very, she's got nice proportions, beautiful size up and bottom. Love the red lip, love the center part in her hair, a little bit more volume than we saw at, say, the San Antonio show. Like, she just looks gorgeous. One thing, though, with Cassandra, and I, I, I imagine I would have said this before, but if I didn't, I, I'll just say it again. I do feel like she's pulling her arm down, and I really notice it in the lineup. I wish that we could get a little bit more of an upward feeling from Cassandra's upper body, like just to have the chest really pulled up and the arms out and the hand not feeling like it's pulling down the shoulder. I think you'll see what I mean in a minute. But overall, I think she looks fantastic. I love the conditioning, and I love her size. And now in first place is Sunny. Oh, yeah. First place, first place, first place again. Just crazy good. Love the turquoise suit. Love the dark hair. She looks beautiful. And her conditioning is next level. Like there's feathering in her quad. Insane. She's got so much detail in her legs. She's got detail up by her hip. Her glutes go out forever. They're so well developed. Great curves in her hamstring. Her calves are like ripped. Insane. Uh, really nice obliques. Beautiful roundness to her shoulders. Like just from top to bottom, she's got a great physique, great conditioning. I almost wonder if her conditioning might be approaching too much. You know, I don't see feathering on any of the other competitors in wellness. So I think she needs to be really careful. I personally love it. I think it looks amazing. But just, you know, in terms of the requirements of the category, you don't want to be too hard looking. But I love how athletic she is. I think she's posing really nicely. We're seeing a nice amount of the front of her body. Um, I wouldn't mind if she was a little lighter on this foot, just to be a bit more on the toe. But overall, man, oh man, she's gorgeous. So here is everybody side by side. Do you see what I mean about Cassandra pulling her shoulder down? I think she needs to just level it out more like how Jasmine is doing. And I think that would look insane. Um, I, uh, maybe you also see what I meant about Judy and having a little bit of a lean. And I think if she could just straighten out her torso, it would be even better. Um, Sunny in the middle looks fab fabulous. Really great shape to her legs. Like look at this curve on the top of her quad here. That's crazy. Um, Jasmine looks really good, though. I do feel like too much of this leg is being hidden behind this one. And I feel like her knee is going towards the back of the stage. So if she could rotate her hip and bring her knee either more flat or even a little bit more in so that it's more like Sunny's, right? Her knee looks like it's going straight to the side. I think that would be really good. Um Raphael, I think, in comparison, needs a little bit more conditioning to show off some of the detail a little bit more in her muscles. But wow, isn't this an incredible top five? And from behind, Sunny's sweep on both the inside and the outside of her legs. Like she's got so much curve and then beautiful definition in her hamstring and her glute ham tie-ins are crazy. I feel like next to her, Cassandra could have more size to the inside of her thighs. Uh, Jasmine, I'm super impressed. I think her legs are massive. Beautiful definition as well. Um, Judian has some great size to her glutes. So does Raphael, though I do think she's leaning a little too much uh, forward. But man, oh man, a fabulous wellness top five. 
So in terms of Olympia, Sunny was already qualified. Cassandra's already qualified. Jasmine will have seven more points. Judean will have six. And Raphael will have five more. Okay, moving on to Pro Figure. In first place, Josie. Second, Teresa. Third, Erica. Fourth, Courtney. And fifth, Yelena. So here's Yelena in fifth place. And I am struck by those abs. Amazing. I love how 3D they are. I love how much detail you have. I think her abs look crazy good. She also has an insane amount of definition in her legs. I love it. Her muscles look so pumped and full and round and beautiful. Uh, she's got great shoulders, a really nice V taper, and I like the hair and the makeup and the suit. Like, I think she looks really good overall from top to bottom. Um, in terms of the V taper, I think there are some other girls that have even more crazy of a v um what can you do i mean she looks amazing um but but wow like if this is a fifth place i'm telling you guys hold your breath it gets crazy i thought she looked amazing okay here's courtney in fourth and already maybe you can see what i mean about the v tapers get insane in this top five her shape is unreal she's so broad up top her shoulders are out of control they're so big they are so broad, so wide, and then her waist is just teensy tiny. She is flat as a board, and she's got nice detail in her legs. I think she could have more leg. Honestly, she could maybe even try just turning out her toes a bit to have even more balance with that crazy upper body. But man, oh man, I'm so taken by that V taper. And then her suit is beautiful. I like that her hair is off her shoulders. Um, oh, I found the tan to be a bit on the yellow side myself, just because compared to the other girls but besides that I think she looks really good okay Erica in third place so keep your eye on this suit um this suit in particular we're gonna see it again later which is kind of amazing um so I'm personally very happy that Erica chose to continue wearing this uh more bright candy colored suit even though I've expressed that I prefer the green one myself. Um, I love that she wore this one because it looks amazing on her. And uh, wow, does it ever pop. But also, her body looks crazy. I think this is the best conditioning of these photos. Her legs are so detailed. All the way from the bottom to the top. And the inside, in the outside. Like you see everything. You see so much more than you saw at Pittsburgh. You see more than you saw at Fit Muscle. Like her detail is really dialed in. Her abs are so defined. Her V taper is fabulous. Her shoulders have great definition. Like look at the, at the caps, the delts here. You're seeing such beautiful detail. And I think she's leveled out her shoulders. Like she's really gotten a beautiful straight line here. It's not having straight hands right but the shoulders are straight and it looks amazing at the other shows I think I commented that the um, the shoulders were a little bit crooked but here they are straight and it looks so good her shape is insane so I love it I think she looks beautiful her makeup the suit the tan her shape the conditioning oh V taper what an amazing third place Okay, next is Teresa in second, and I know that I've crammed a lot of photos on one page, so I'm going to show you her bigger in a second, but this just gives you a look at how many times she's been in the top five in such a consistently beautiful body. Her conditioning in her legs in particular is unreal, and her lats to me are like on another planet. They are so big, they're so round and beautiful, and I think she looks amazing. But here she is a little closer, uh, and you can see she's got great detail in her legs, great detail in her abs. Her shoulders look beautiful. I really like how round they are up above the level of her clavicle. Um, it's like her arms are just resting <clears throat> on these lats. They're so big. Great conditioning and a great shape. And I love her signature purple. She's got a little purple in the earring, a little purple in the bracelet. Like, she just looks beautiful. You know it's Teresa from a mile away, and she is crazy good okay and here's Josie in first place do you recognize the suit <laughs> uh, I think she looks amazing now I have a few things to say 
Number one, I don't think she has the most conditioning of all the athletes on stage. You don't see as much detail in her legs. You're not seeing as much ab. I don't think she has like striations in her shoulders. So even though she didn't have the conditioning like some of the others, she has an amazing shape. Her V taper is so pinched in. Like it is literally from this corner to her belly button. To that corner like it's it's something else her shape is really stand out particularly in the lineup and as I've said already this top five is all really impressive with their v tapers but I think Josie's is on another is on another level and so I think even though she didn't have the conditioning like the others she had the shape that was surpassing um the scores so wow just crazy her shoulders look beautiful they've got a gorgeous roundness they're round on the top they're round on the sides and then it just goes into this amazing shape with a small waist and a really nice sweep to her quads which I think is balanced really well with her upper body she's posing beautifully she looks relaxed she looks calm she's showcasing everything she needs to show us and uh, she just looks amazing okay so everybody side by side do you see the v tapers they're all incredible but Josie is on another level. She is so V, right? Like Teresa has a curve in her lat. Um, Yelena has a little bit more of a curve. Even Erica seems to have a bit more of a curve. And then Josie is just straight line right to her shoulders. It's crazy. Her waist is super small. Um, and and I, I don't mean to criticize too much her conditioning because she still has beautiful conditioning. You're seeing lots of detail in her legs and her quads, just not as much, say, as Erica or Teresa on either side of her. But you can really see the balance and how large her lower body is compared to the largeness of her upper body. And so while I think everybody looks really good, Josie really had that amazing shape. And from behind, you really see it. If you didn't see it before, you got to see it now. Her V taper is wow. Her waist looks extremely small and the V just begins right from her strap and just goes and goes and keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. And now it's at her shoulders and she's like, you know what? Even with her suit, it's like her whole body is a triangle, right? It's crazy. She looks so good. Her shape is outrageous. Um, I'm loving how much detail we see in Erica's hamstrings. Same with Teresa. I think we've got some fabulous glutes from everybody all across. I like how three-dimensional Yelena's back looks. Um, but but Josie with that shape, like it's just something else. Okay, so in terms of Olympia, Josie is now qualified. Teresa was already qualified. Erica has seven points more. Courtney has six. And Yelena has five. Okay, pro women's physique. Here we go. In first place, Natalia. Second, G. Hai. Third, Alex. Fourth, Amanda. And fifth, Orlandina. Okay, so starting with Orlandina in fifth place crazy x shape i love this pose on her it really highlights her legs her quads are insane great size awesome definition although i do feel like overall i want a little bit more conditioning to really show off the detail you know for example on the inner thigh maybe a little bit more feathering in the quads a little bit more ab definition even more cut and and really defined up in the upper body um but i think her shape is really good uh the legs in particular i'm just drawn to those quads she's got such an incredible sweep on both legs right you're really noticing this curve here and here oh it looks so good um i was thinking that perhaps just to really highlight the width and the broadness up top of the X of her X shape. She could maybe have her hands a little bit further away from her face just to really showcase the width up top and to make the biceps pop, um, make the shoulders a little bit more prominent. But overall, like I think she looks amazing. I like the hair being up in a bun off of her face, uh, off of her shoulders. So we really get a good look at her. Oh, I think she looked amazing. Just a little bit more conditioning and I would have been over the moon. 
Okay, next is Amanda in fourth place. She looks fantastic. I love the definition in her arms. You really do get a good outline of her biceps. I think her lats look amazing. A nice trim, small waist. Um, beautiful detail in her legs. Great size. Fabulous sweep. Like she looks really incredible. I do think that she needed more ab definition. So. I guess the conditioning, if it could be just a tiny bit more to really give us all of the detail everywhere, even even we could have a bit more detail on the inner thigh here and just ever so slightly more of the six pack coming through. But I love the bright blue suit with her platinum hair. I think she looks really beautiful. She's very eye-catching and her shape looks gorgeous and beautiful posing too. I think she's doing a great job of showcasing her X frame. So amazing. Okay, here's Alex in third place. Now there is a fabulous six pack. Her abs look awesome. Really 3D, great, groovy, deep, um, well-defined abs. I think her upper body has some great definition as well. You really notice the peaks of her biceps really popping out of her arms. Uh, beautiful sweep to her leg. Nice definition in her quads. Um, she looks amazing. She's got a lot of size, a lot of mass in her lower body in particular, but her lats look amazing. She's got a great shape. I think she's, she's got really nice balance. I still think that there could be even more definition, particularly when we get down to our first place winner in comparison, just to really show off all of the lines everywhere, but she's really close. And I think her size is really impressive. Um, the color of the suit is not something that I would typically love, but I think it looks fabulous with her hair and her skin tone and she's rocking it and it looks amazing. So overall, I am so impressed. She looks so good. Okay, here's Jihai in second place. Now there's some crazy conditioning. Look at all of that detail in her legs. That is what I personally love to see. I think it looks so cool. You really notice all of the distinct parts of her quad muscles. Um, her arms also look super detailed. Lots of very deep grooves. You really got a nice outline of the bicep. I think her shoulders could be a little bit rounder on top. And of course, I'm going to say it again. I wouldn't mind if the abs were showing a little bit more. Um, but man, her conditioning is really really spectacular. I don't love her posing. I think that she's standing too straight. If this leg was out to the side like the other girls do, I think that would make the X a bit more pronounced. And I also feel like the foundation, her makeup is a little too light. It's not quite blending with the tan well enough for me. But man oh man, a fantastic second place. Her legs look incredible. And now in first place, no big surprise here, Natalia, first place across the board. And I mean, what can I say that I haven't said about her? Her conditioning is always crazy. You get so much detail in every single part of her muscle in her leg. By the knee, coming up the thigh, on the outside, by her glute, her calves always look insane. Then you've got the most incredible, well-defined six-pack with a tiny flat stomach. And then she's got gorgeous, gigantic lats. Her biceps are popping right out of her arms. Beautiful shape to her shoulders. It's another suit. Can you believe that? Another beautiful, gorgeous suit. Every time I think, this is my favorite suit. And then she does another one and it's even better. They're, they're all just fabulous. I personally prefer the more bluey, purpley tone than the red myself. But just, just with the dark hair, I think it's really gorgeous. However, she did look pretty fantastic at the Olympia in that red suit. So what do I know? Comment below what color you guys like the best on Natalia. But man, I've got, I've got no critique. I think she's fantastic. She's so consistent in her beautiful posing and her conditioning and her shape is, it's next level. Like there's no comparison in the lineup. You see what I mean? You cannot help but look at Natalia. Her waist is so small. Her V taper is so crazy good. Her conditioning is the best across the lineup. You see abs, you see quads, you see biceps. She looks petite. She looks extremely small in her waist and so muscular and athletic. She's just so good. I think next to her, Amanda, 
very clearly needs more abs showing, even more conditioning. Same with our second place winner, more abs. Uh, Alex in third, I think her abs look crazy good. I do feel like she's leaning backwards almost a little bit. I think she could be a little bit more upright. Um, Orlandina, again, I think needs more ab, more conditioning to really show off all the detail compared to Natalia. That's a hard one, right? Compared to Natalia. Okay, from behind... Again, nobody has a shape like she does. Her V-taper, the amount of 3D that she has going on in her back with the tiny waist and her glutes are so different than everybody else's. I think Jihai has a pretty impressive back as well, particularly her glutes. But I think Natalia's sweep of her quads are really beautifully balanced with her glutes and she's got such a small waist and just a beautiful way of posing. Her arms are really out I think Jihai is just a little bit more condensed, I, I guess. Like her hands are a little closer. Um, I don't know. Just Natalia has something special. She's so beautiful and so aesthetically pleasing and so ripped. Like her glutes are shredded and it's amazing. Okay, in terms of Olympia, Natalia was already qualified. Jihai has eight. Alex has seven. Amanda has six. And Orlandina has five. Okay, women's bodybuilding. Here we go. In first place, Donna. Second, Stephanie. Third, Michelle. Fourth, Keisha. And fifth, Sequita. So here is Sequita in fifth place. And I was actually surprised. I thought I had seen her before. And I went looking back in the record and I realized I had her in my video of Brand new pros to keep your eye out for. And here she is. I'm so excited for her. Unreal. A fifth place at the New York Pro, one of the biggest shows of the year. What a way to begin her pro season. So I'm super proud of her, and I think she looks awesome. She's got amazing size. Her legs are crazy big. Like, there is so much muscle on the inside of her thighs. Like, there's no space at all between her legs. Insane beautiful amount of detail down by the knees although I do feel like the conditioning could come up even higher to really show off more detail more striations more feathering deeper grooves in the abs but man her legs are crazy good she's got beautiful lats I think her x shape is really nice and I think she could have even more upper body to balance with those crazy legs but holy smokes what a what a way to begin I think she looks amazing Okay, next is Keisha in fourth. She's got a great way of posing. She's really making her upper body look super broad, um, really showcasing the bicep muscles and just how wide she is up top to balance with those crazy big legs. Really great. She might not have the smallest uh, waist, but she is creating a really good V taper by the way she is posing and by the amount of mass she has in her legs. So I think she looks fabulous. She's got good conditioning. Um, I do wish that the six-pack abs had a bit more of the line coming down the middle. She's got some great definition going side to side, though. Um, nice detail in the legs. Great detail in her biceps. And I love the bright blue suit. It's got a bit of a sheen to it. It's very beautiful. The hair up is lovely. You really notice those gorgeous delts. Uh, I think she looked really good. Okay, next is Michelle in third. Okay, she looks amazing. First of all, I love the color of the suit. It's like a seafoam, kind of a jadey green. It's so pretty. Uh, I like it better than the red. I, I, maybe I'm just not a fan of red. I, I can't seem to uh, ever say that I love the red, but she looks great. I love the color with her hair. Um, I think her muscle size is so impressive. She's got really nice full legs, great definition, particularly in this quad. Like I think her detail is even better than it was at the Toronto Pro. You're really, you got striations, you got such a great outline here. Her abs look amazing. Uh, I don't think this pose is highlighting the V taper as much as it could. I think we're kind of squishing her X a little bit. Uh, but I do think it's showing off her upper body beautifully and, uh, you know, maybe a little more shoulder if I could be picky here. But like, I think she looks really great. She's got nice conditioning. I wouldn't mind more detail coming up the leg. Um, but I, I love the abs. I love the detail in her shoulders. And I think I think she looks really good. 
Okay, Stephanie in second is killing it with this X shape. She is so good from top to bottom. Her posing really shows off her tiny waist and her beautiful balance. I think she's got an amazing amount of size in her legs, coupled with beautiful lats and great shoulders and, and great arms too. Her biceps look fabulous. She's got a beautiful curve to the underside of her arm. Like, she is, to me, the very definition of an X frame, and I love it. And her conditioning is fabulous. you got lots of detail in her legs, lots of detail in her um, abs. She's amazing. The hair is up. I like the hair either way, honestly. I love the purple suit. It looks beautiful with the tan, with the bright hair. I think she's fabulous. Um, toes up or toes flat. I think both ways look amazing. You you notice more to me the the sweep of the quad here than you did here, even though the legs were so beautifully long at the Indie Pro. But another second place for her, and she looks incredible. And now in first place is Donna. Oh my gosh. So Donna has an amazing amount of size. Her legs are gigantic and her upper body is gigantic. So she's got these lats that are just insane. Like I think from here, if we drew a straight line up, she is so full of beautifully dense, beautifully pumped up muscle. And then when we go from here down, again, so round, so full, great size, great detail. And that her waist in the middle is nice and flat and trim. And she's got gorgeous detail in her obliques. I wouldn't mind, you know me, I sound like a broken record now. I wouldn't mind more detail in the abs, but it's okay because her shape is fabulous. So she's a more, um, she's not as long and lean like we saw our second place. I feel like she's a little bit more of a condensed is the best word I can think of it. It's, it's a more shortened X, but it's fabulous. It is so much muscle in the upper and the lower and then a tiny little waist in the middle. So oh, I'm so impressed. I think she looks amazing. And I love the black suit with her dark hair. Okay, so everybody's side by side. Check out Donna. Those lats are crazy. And when you look at Michelle beside her, Michelle doesn't have enough upper body in comparison. She needs more lats, more shoulders. So Donna for sure takes the cake. Um, I think Stephanie looks really incredible next to her. A lot. It, she's very tall. She's very long. Donna, I think, has so much curve to her shape. She's got a lot of curve in her lats. They look so full. She's got a lot of curve in her beautiful legs. And then I like her conditioning a lot. You really notice some detail all the way from her kneecap up. The sweep is highlighted. You've got that detail in her obliques. She looks really fantastic. Um, I think all of these women are impressive, particularly the legs, but Donna's lats and the balance with her lower body really takes her somewhere special. And from behind, wow. Donna has a really unique cut to the back of her suit. It's a bit different than what I've seen before. It's kind of cool. And you really notice the conditioning here and how squared off her glutes are. Um, beautiful detail in her hamstring and her calves are crazy good. Across the board, you look at the calves, Donna is there. Um, I think her glutes take her somewhere special as well. Her torso, you know, her she's got a long waist and then the muscles start way up high. Whereas Stephanie, you see a bit more detail down below. Same with Keisha. Uh, but man, Donna just looks really cool. She's got a great shape and great amount of size. I think Michelle's maybe leaning a little bit too much. It's creating some wrinkles in her skin. Um, Sequita I think looks really good really nice shape just a, just needs a little bit more size on the top to balance with those legs but holy smokes okay so in terms of Olympia Donna is now qualified Stephanie gets eight more points Michelle gets seven more points Keisha has six and Sequita has five so that concludes my New York Pro recap. Oh, man, what a good one. I've got two more coming your way from the weekend, the Optimum Classic and the California Night of Champions. And then this weekend, we've got two more shows coming up, the Miami International Fitness Expo and the Toronto Pro Super Show. So make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss those recaps. Give me a like if you like this video. Comment below with your thoughts on all of these insane top fives. And come and find me. I'm at turquoisetoffee.wordpress.com and of course on Instagram at turquoisetoffee.